Hello everyone and uh, welcome to my vlog. Um, if you've not been here before please subscribe. Um, I'm trying to vlog my cancer journey and everything that's to do with me and going through cancer. Um, unfortunately my cancer is terminal so if, if you didn't know that yeah it's terminal. Um, I'm going through chemotherapy at the moment. Uh, you're thinking why have you still got all your hair? Uh, I don't still have all my hair unfortunately. Some bald patches at the back uh, which I'm not going to divulge and show but I had it cut to just hide the thinning of my hair at the moment um, which is which is a weird process um, I'm, I'm not sure how to take that whole idea of losing all my hair but that'll be interesting uh, if it happens I'm on capsaicin and carboplatin intravenously so the likelihood of my hair falling out completely is very slim but I will probably thin quite a bit um, so we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Uh, I've not been around for the last couple of days because I've been in hospital. Uh, I've had some issues with my heart and I've had some issues with my chest. I've now got pleurisy and I've got a number of infections. Um, pleurisy is incredibly painful. Uh, it's very, it's actually causing massive fatigue and I'm very tired. Um, it's very uncomfortable. Uh, it hurts when I breathe in and stuff like that. So I've not been vlogging because I've been in hospital uh, and the doctors and just very unwell in bed asleep. Um, so today I'm feeling a little bit better so I thought I'd do a little update for you and just explain what's been going on. So that's basically what I've done. Um, I had to have some CT scans. I know that one of my tumours is still growing. Uh, the others um, I can't tell because I don't have access to that information plus it's not been checked in the proper manner by the proper doctors. Um, but for all intensive purposes we won't know what the chemo is doing for about two, three weeks anyway because we've got to have numerous stages done with this so chemotherapy is kind of a, a weird thing uh, to me it's a new process to me and it's very um, confusing uh, there's so much said about chemotherapy but the actual reality of it to me has been completely different um, very different to what I expected what everyone else expected so I've, I've managed to eat consistently I've managed to stay quite healthy during it um, I've managed to not be too tired really. Uh, I have slept numerous like days out but like I'm, I'm tired, I'm fatigued, I've got loads of cancer and then I've got the chemo, numerous types of chemo and then you've got the whole thing of being ill and having an infection, it just makes you very tired. Um, but yeah another thing I wanted to touch on today was Sophia Gall unfortunately passed away the other day and she was one of the inspirations for me to start vlogging and to start doing this like whole journey video process of like documenting my cancer journey and the way that I'm going through it and I've gone from being someone who could potentially be treated to someone who is now terminal and it's very very hard to kind of comprehend that as a human being myself and for people on camera that must be quite hard for them uh, the other side of the camera sorry to really understand especially when everyone's like you look so healthy you look really good or you look this it's just because I want to look healthy I force myself to look healthy you don't see me when I'm really sick or really like really unwell I, I find it hard to film when I'm really unwell it's cringy even to me to do it so like I'd love to be able to show more of the reality side of it, it like and me being very unwell but it's not easy to pick up a camera and then just start filming when you're being sick or where you're in an ambulance or like having your heart palpitate so much and feel like it's beating out of your chest and the last thing on your mind is to look at a camera and like explain the process it's much easier to explain it afterwards um, and just kind of like show the bits that I can show when I'm able to and be informative and that's very important I want to be informative but anyway back to what Sophia did um, she did something that was amazing to me she still tried to live her life and try and chase her dreams even whilst she was sick and that was inspiring that was really inspiring for someone half my age someone who's so sick to do that it's just just amazing and I'll pop a link to Sophia's page if you've not seen it check it out it's just yeah inspiring and the other thing that really made me want to vlog because of hers was after a month or so after I started doing videos I, she posted another video and everyone was trolling her and being really horrible to her 
And that really, really struck a chord with me because people have this preconception of people with cancer and have this like misconception of people with cancer. And that, that in itself was cause for concern for me. And I, I thought to myself, how can we, or me, in fact, just me, really, no one else really supported me at that time, um, but how can I try and change this perception that everyone has of people with cancer? And I hope I'm doing that. And I hope that Sophia managed to get everything she wanted out of life. And it's, it really, really struck a chord with me that one day that might be me who passes away from this horrible disease. And I, I, I don't want that. I want to fight it as much as possible. I really want to fight it as much as possible. But yeah, anyway, I, I'm, I'm blabbering again. But yeah, thank you everyone for watching. All right, love you long time. See you later. Ta-ta. Bye-bye. See you later. Ta-ta. Bye-bye.